What is up everyone? This is Spook Foreman and it's time for a brand new gameplay to this channel. Brand new. This is NBA 2K18. I am so excited that I got this game because when I saw the trailer I was like, OMG, I totally want this game so bad. Well, here it is. Here it is. And um, when I think of this game, I'm I'm thinking that it was lit. The only it was it was lit. The only reason why I think that this game was lit because um they had um they had six they added sixteen new classic teams and they even added some um they even added the all time teams that um and I'm gonna go through um and I'm gonna go through some of them. But, but but before we get to the day, today's game, that's right. I'm gonna show you some um some classic teams that you probably might have heard about. And uh, first off, it's the 90, 1997 Miami Heat. This was a team that was led by Alonzo Mourning and Tim Hardaway. The um the two um I the two these two players were the best players on the team. They, they, um, they led they led the team to the um the Eastern Conference Finals, but um but lost to the five-time champion Chicago Bulls in uh, the eventual five-time champion Chicago Bulls in um five games. And um after and after losing the first three games, Alonzo Mourning made a statement that the Heat would win on a Monday, which was Game Four, and they did. It was. It was a valiant effort from Morning, who, um, I don't know how many points he scored in Game 4, but, um, hopefully you guys know, uh, if you, if you do know. And, um, and, uh, they, I think they, I think, uh, I think the, um, the Xbox and the PS4 crew, um, I don't, they, they made a great idea to put this team on the classic teams list and, uh, show it to the, um, a lot of people who have the game. And, um, next up... It's the 2002 Sacramento Kings. This this team, everyone. This team was by by far one of the one of the mo one of my most loved classic teams, maybe ever in any NBA video game. Um, this team was led by Chris Webber and Pedro Stojakovic, and uh, and also Mike Bibby. Yeah, Mike Bibby too. The team who had the best record in the NBA that year made it to the Western Conference Finals, but unfortunately, they couldn't hold on, they couldn't hold, um, they couldn't extend their playoff run as they, as they were defeated by the Los Angeles Lakers in seven games. I mean, this, this Western, the Western Conference Finals series was, but one of, was, was probably the best, one of the best playoff series that I have ever seen. I mean, and I mean, after Robert Horry, after Robert Ory hit the game-winning three at the buzzer in Game Four to tie the series at two, Mike Bibby made the game-winning shot of his own, and um, and put the Kings up three-two. Luckily, the Lakers won Game Six, and would um and it would be a very tough battle in Game Seven. Mike Bibby was um I think I I've, I've seen much of Mike Bibby in Game Seven, and he was. He was probably unstoppable until the Lakers came back and uh, and uh, sent this uh, sent this game to overtime, which um which they which they would win by playing great defense, having um keep move, moving the ball well and uh, getting getting to the um NBA Finals for the third time uh, for. Third, for the third consecutive time, but there's one thing that keeps in mind about this team. I hope they, but I, I, I just hope that the Kings learn their lesson. Just because you have the best record in the NBA doesn't mean that it's going to be easy playing a team with with a lot of strength, a lot of physicality, and a lot of a lot of determination. You know. And, uh, so yeah, that's that. And, uh, next one, the 2005 San Antonio Spurs, who defeated, who defeated the Detroit Pistons 
in seven games of the um in the NBA Finals, and um the the the, the my favorite part about the 2005 Finals is when Robert Ory made the game-winning shot in um in Game Five to put the Spurs up three-two, and although the Spurs would lose, lose Game Six, they were able to um they were able to um pull off pull off the victory over over the Pistons by um. I know there was a lot of defense play there, but there was, um, but there was, <laughs> there were, um, uh, I'm trying to think, there, oh yeah, there was a lot of effort being played in that game, a lot of effort, and the Spurs, and the Spurs took that effort to the limit, and, um, and, and won the series in seven. Next up. The 2007 Golden State Warriors, who defeated the 67-win Dallas Mavericks in six games during the first round of the playoffs. I mean, they were led by Baron Dave. Look, I, I, um, I, I feel. But first of all, I feel sorry for the um for the Mavericks because they had they had um to me they had the best their best regular season in franchise history, and um I think. The effort, the effort um, that Dirk Nowitz, Nowitzki gave his team led them to that 67 wins, but unfortunately, they were unable to um, they were unable to keep the momentum going as the Warriors took every took every opportunity that they had and uh, won and won the series in six, but they would be defeated by by the Jazz in the Western Conference semifinals. And uh, and um, and which um, who moved on to the um, Western Conference Finals for the first time in in um, nearly a decade. Yeah, they, uh, I believe they were led by Andre Kirilenko. I believe they were. Yeah, but the way they played, the way they played, really took its toll in the playoffs, and that's why they were able to advance. That's why that's why they decided to put this team on the on the classics teams list. And um, and last but not least, the 2011 Chicago Bulls. They were led by former MVP Derrick Rose and uh, future Defensive Player of the Year Joakim Noah. Um, this um this was a team that had made the Eastern Conference Finals but lost to the Miami Heat in five games. They were um, in um you know in that game, in Game Five they were um. They they had the um they had the chance to stay alive and send this series back to Miami, but LeBron James, but but I mean the Heat led by LeBron James made the made the um made the come from behind well made made the comeback and then get the come from behind win to um take the series in five and advance to the NBA Finals for the first time since 2006. And, you know, um, and uh, yeah, what a way for D Rose to take it upon himself to um to lead to lead the team, not only the team but himself to the um to the top spot in the Eastern Conference and win the Most Valuable Player Award. So yeah, and uh, and uh, one more thing to those who wanted me to show you um show you more classic teams like the. Uh, 2014 Indiana Pacers and the 2016 Golden State Warriors. That would that would have to wait. Um, that would have to wait in the next video because um, I I got a I got a game to play, which in fact I'm gonna show you right now. Today's game is going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Boston Celtics. Let me let me uh, put the Boston Celtics on the board. Oh, here it is. So after um after this after the Celtics were led by Isaiah Thomas and made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, where they would be defeated by the Cavaliers in in five, they um from for Isaiah Thomas, he and Kyrie Irving were involved in a trade that sent that sent Kyrie to Boston and um and uh, Isaiah and 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 Jay Crowder. To the um, to the to the Cavaliers. When I saw Kyrie Irving get traded, I was like, um, I was like so disappointed. I mean, 
I mean, I, I, um, I, I know, I understand that um, he has played a spectacular, he has had a spectacular career with the Cavaliers, and now, now that he's taking this game to Boston, let's see if LeBron James and company can stop them. And um, when I was in, um, I mean, uh, just, um, just a few weeks ago when I was in high school, um, I wanted to tell you guys a story, but um, I, I have a bad feeling that it would be long, so. How about we just uh, get to the game? Yep. And, and let's do it. It's um, it's the Cavaliers as they take on the Boston Celtics. And let's get ready for the pregame show. NBA regular season opener for a couple of teams. Thank you all for tuning in. Well, yeah, they Don't still have Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Shaq. I'm really, I'm really happy I wish they would have included um, Charles Barkley as well. Tonight, it'll be the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Boston Celtics. Taking a look at the Celtics, they struggled in this matchup last season. Only one win for them through four games. They'd like to make a statement tonight. After a brisk offseason, it's finally upon us, fellas. What's that? Opening night. Oh, tonight's NBA. opening night. Hey, oh, that was hey. a preseason game. Shaq, your thoughts on how important it is for a team to get off to a fast start? Well, early wins gives you confidence. Oh, do they ever. Makes you more intimidating to oh, play against. Oh, does it ever. I'm so excited. I miss you guys in summer. Oh, I know. What are you been doing? Here. I went to China about 59 times. Yeah. I went to Cancun 72 times. Uh huh. And I went to the North Pole twice. Oh, wow, wow. How's so that? It was a pretty uneventful summer. It was, it was bad. I was looking for Santa. I couldn't find Okay, well, you're not supposed to. The fans, the local media, everyone is excited. And I just am excited to be here. Mm, okay, I actually think we will just um stick to the game now. Because um, I, I think I have a feeling that a lot of you might be a... Uh, think you've already seen the intro, so... So yeah, let's get to it. It's the Cleveland Cavaliers as they take on the Boston Celtics. Whoa, look at that intro. How about that? I wish they could do that for ESPN or TNT. Beautiful performance by whoever that was. This is Kevin Holland at the table alongside Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge from the sideline. We've got the Boston Oh, yeah. So, uh, as, as they talk about the announcers, um, I heard they have two guests. I heard they have two guest announcers. Um, they have um, Kobe Bryant and Kevin Garnett. These two... Um, I think they, I think these two can make a great cro contribution as to um as uh, as brought as guest broadcasters. They can um they 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 can be talking about about how how the superstars take it upon themselves to reach to reach what they've been wanting to do their whole career and uh, maybe check on any improvements that. Teams that have bad records can, um, you know, try to improve. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. I hope I do great. Man, I can't believe I'm challenging. Oh! Ho -ho! Did the broad block that shot? Wow, what a way to start. Look. I mean, look at this. Kyrie Irving thinks he's going to drive to the basket. LeBron says, absolutely no. Wow. I think I completely lost track of what I was saying. Uh -oh. You're going to have to shoot it, LeBron. Yeah. And it's fascinating to see these mm. new look rosters 
former teammates going. Can't believe I'm facing Kyrie Irving for the first time. Plenty more of come playoff time. Now here's Irving. Okay, good D, LeBron. Good D. He ain't gonna make that. He ain't gonna make that. Good rebound. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Thomas kicks to Love. In the corner, Smith with it. James outside. From deep time. Oh, yeah, Isaiah, you're open. That's a three. His first buckets. His first points with the Cavaliers, actually, yeah. Let's see if Irving can get his first points with the Celtics or Gordon Hayward. Who previously played for the Utah Jazz? Marcus Morris gets his first points for the Celtics after playing with the Detroit Pistons and the Phoenix Suns. Oh. Oh yeah, good move, LeBron. Oh, I thought it was going to go to the basket that time. No. Uh oh. Smart misses. Good rebound, Kevin. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait. wait. Well, luckily, we kept it alive. So the drive. <sighs> Why can't he just get to the basket and, you know, take it all the way for a slam? Oh, wait, wait. Should have saw Kevin Love open. Wait, wait. He's open now. He can shoot the three. Yes. Good way to start the season. A 6 2 start. This guy is clearly dedicated to his craft. He's dedicated to learning from his peers. He is always watching games from every different angle to try to learn. Whoa. That one's good, Irving. <laughs> no other defense can stop that. That's their point. Uh oh, Tristan Thompson's open. Good feed by LeBron James. Yeah, that. Yeah, that is good awareness by LeBron James. Uh oh. Oh, there it is again. I gotta play better defense that time. Watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. And we're approaching about three and a half uh -oh. minutes played in the first quarter. Uh -oh. Irving against Thomas. Pass to LeBron. In the corner, Smith with it. Uh -oh. He dishes it to Love. You're open. Thomas, another three. Yes! Another three. That makes it three already. That's why the Cavaliers are a good shooting team. They get open looks. And they knock him down. Okay. Only two minutes to go in the first quarter. Whoa. LeBron gets to Smith. Love outside. And there's the feet. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, luckily. You're going to have to drive it, JR. You're going to have to drive it. Oh, good move. Tough floater. But he got it to fall. Here's the Celtics now. Oh. I mean, I would love to see how Thomas, Isaiah Thomas, does in his first year with Cleveland. But I, but I should also keep an eye on how LeBron, I mean, not LeBron, but, but Kyrie Irving does in his first year with Cleveland. I would love to see his, uh, his highlights and stuff, even though he has been traded. Mm. Oh, he is feeling it right now. Somebody give him a double team. Wait, wait, wait. James outside. Over to the wing. Whoa, whoa. Get away. 
Oh no no that 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 was contested that was contested. Well, I thought he was open. Oh, the rebound. Time to hold it down for the last shot. Oh, boy, this team is playing good defense on LeBron. Oh. Yeah, this Celtics defense is contesting the Cavaliers right now, even though they're trailing, but... Wow. Well, that's the end of one. The score is 13-11. to 11. And uh, hopefully there will be adjustments made for the Cavaliers as um second quarter gets underway. For me, at a younger age, I was never even killed. In a playoff game when I was younger, I was excited out of my mind and you would lose and I was the worst person in the world. But I think at this point in my career, I kind of stay even. One game shouldn't affect the next game. You know, you go out and play as hard as you can and live with the results. Okay, I made changes to the uh, roster. I put Derek Rose in so that the um adjustments will be made. Uh oh. I get back. Good rebound. It's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And from what we've seen from the Cavaliers... Well, a lot of people think that LeBron James is going to have a final season with the Cavaliers. If it, will, if it is, then hopefully it'll end with a title. Wait, wait, wait. from three-point territory. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And so in the game for the Cavaliers... If they get a bucket on this possession, I'm going to get to take a timeout. Oh. Oh, there you go. There's a rebound. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Guys, Tristan Thompson has one of the longest consecutive games played streaks in NBA history. He said, the mind's a powerful oh. thing. And if you tell your brain everything is all right, Jay Crowder inside. The stuff you can achieve. Oh, good putback by Kevin Love. What a putback. Great and trust yourself as a player. Kevin? Well, that get the Cavaliers going. Even though they have the lead, but um, put LeBron James on the bench also because he has been scoreless. The Celtics are contesting him a lot. They are contesting him a lot defensively. Five points in the game. Rose kicks to Crowder. Cleveland moving oh. the ball around. Passes to well, the only way I'm going to get easy buckets is if, if I get the ball inside or get offensive rebounds like that. Kevin Love again. And he's fouled, so he'll head to the line. He says it taught him the things to do and the things not to do in life. He was straight mm. as an arrow during his pro career. Never once Love misses got a the first. Hopefully, he'll make the second. Playing quite remarkable. And he sinks the second. Well, he has a knack. Okay, for one for two. And once he's there, odds are pretty good he's making them. There's a screen. Brown outside. Uh oh. Oh boy, mm. he Peter, but he gets wow. Jalen Brown is foul. And he'll head to the line. I think you need those perimeter defenders who combine quickness and strength, and he's got it. First free throw good for Jalen Brown. We had a good rookie here, um, and uh, I forgot, um, I forgot, I forgot about his stats, but I just know he had a good rookie here, and uh, 
that three pointer and athletic. Now, hopefully, he can keep that momentum Boys going. Our opening night wins and losses didn't mean much in the preseason. Talk about the shift now and mindsets. We're set to start another season now that everyone is playing for real. Uh oh. Why am I not taking everything to the basket, but I still knock them down? But why do they keep letting me take those jump shots? That's crazy. Oh, wait. He's about to go for a steal. The Celtics still keep the ball. Opening night butterflies are inevitable for everyone involved. Well, I think the Cavaliers and Celtics are going to face each other in, in the real world on opening night. Mm. May have to check the schedule, but I think I'm right. Marcus Morris drains to three, and I'm going to call a timeout to see. Wow. Because the Cavaliers are currently struggling. And uh, let's see if they can... Um, Let's see if that can, um, I was about to say, let's see if they can get things going. Oh. I don't know why the energy runs down to a, around 80 to 70 so fast as Derek Rowe makes a nice pass, but Cavaliers still can't find one. I think this shows why the controls can be very tough. I mean, you, you just know you're going to lose your first game, but it's um, it's not it's not the end of what would be a good season for you because you just know you're going to get yourself off to a good start. Gordon Hayward is checked back in. James, with a forceful personality, it seems that may have graded on Irving. Well, Zaire makes the second, and the Celtics go up by two. And LeBron remains an outspoken leader on this Cavs team. Oh, this time Tristan Thompson made that bucket. He got inside and they caught the pass. It was on target. to blend in more with his teammates. Over in the corner, Brown. You ain't gonna make that. Good board. Uh oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. He's open, though. He doesn't shoot that many threes, but he still can't make them, even if he's open. Brown outside. Here's Rozier. Oh. Oh. Shot clock at six. Oh. 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 Yes, good board. Another chance to go back up on top. Oh. Shepard's open. I think, I think, I think, I think me and Asia was right. The controls are tough. But still. I'm not sure why. I was about to say, I'm not sure why Kyrie Irving. I mean, not. not Gord, I'm getting my players mixed up now. I'm not sure why Gordon Hayward missed the. Um, took that jump shot like that. I mean, that was just bad shot selection. Whoa, not yet, not yet. I think I finally may have found that formula. Uh oh, Rose with another good move. But he'll head to the line, the foul on Jalen Brown. As we come up on 30 seconds to go in the half. Last season when Derrick Rose was playing for the New York Knicks, he averaged 18 points a game. A good season for him. I was off in that one. 
and he can get you some points. Yeah, and his leadership is a big part of the package now. He can be a good mentor to upcoming guys. There we go. In so when the meter is full, that, bridge, that means there's a better chance that the shot's going to go. I think I get this now. Oh. It's out of bounds to the Celtics, and I'm about to put LeBron back in the game. Oh, wait, he is back in the game. Never mind. Oof. Well, that was Tristan Thompson who made the block on Kyrie Irving. Okay. I'm surprised that LeBron's not um not having his best game from the field, but... But wait, 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 hold on. Let me see if I can hold it down for the last shot. Now you can make your move. Now you can make your move. There's the open shot for Rose. He still couldn't get it to fall, and that's the way things are going for the Cavaliers. But they're up by a few. And we'll take a break to get ready for the second half after this.